The former first lady and best-selling author Michelle Obama is taking a swipe at President Trump and also divorced dads. Listen to what she said to Stephen Colbert at an event in London about the current state of America as she sees it. We come from a broken family. We're a teenager. We're, you know, we're a little unsettled and, you know, uh, you know, having good parents, you know, is tough. You know, sometimes you spend weekends with divorced dad and that feels like it's fun, but then you get sick. That's what America's going through. We're kind of living with divorced dad right now. I want to bring in Kate Bennett now to talk about this. So, Kate. Uh, we were talking about this before. Mm -hmm. it, you, you understand where she's going with this. Sure. But to, to make the analogy to divorced dads, for someone like Michelle Obama, is remarkably unwoke, to use a term that the kids use. <laughs> um, because it's not the 1950s. Yeah. And there are lots of divorced dads. Sure. I would venture to say most divorced dads who don't just have their kids on the weekend, but have their kids as a major co-parent. Right. What's up with this? I, I think it was a really big misstep on her part. I think there are a lot of analogies or labels or uh, metaphors one could use to describe the Donald Trump presidency, its effect on America, a lot of really effective ways to do that. I think, um, you know, attacking divorced dads in a way is probably not the way to go. 50% of marriages in America end in divorce, and many of those parents equally co-parent um, when they have kids. And uh, it's not the olden days, really, where dads would get the kid on the weekend and give him, she says, you know, give the kid candy and, and it, that feels fun for a while. Right. It's not really like that anymore. And I think it shows um, a rare moment of being out of touch with the rest of, of America in terms of uh, culture and society and those things. Michelle Obama usually typically has her finger pretty well on the she pulse. Does. Um, so that was a sort of a strange thing. And, and it's really caused a ripple today uh, with divorced dads. And, and she hasn't said anything about um, being wrong about saying it. But I certainly think you're right. It's not mm -hmm. very, um, very uh, timely of her in yeah. this day and, and age. And, you know, I, I actually read her book cover to cover. And in it, she is incredibly open about so much in her personal life with the former president. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that she does talk about is the struggles, understandably, that any spouse of somebody in politics has with kids and raising the kids and that person being absent. Mm -hmm. um, so I just, I just, I just found it easy and I'm uh, uh, interesting rather. And, um, you know, I also think about the fact that she has done like probably hundreds of these at this point. Right. And she's sitting with the comedian and maybe she says, okay, but having said that, if somebody who was not Michelle Obama said this, what would happen? It would be, people would be talking about it all over the place. I mean, this is the start of her European tour. She's in London. These are sellout crowds. This is the memoir that people say is going to be the best-selling one of all time. Uh, millions of dollars in book advance. I mean, everyone, if someone else had done this, I think it would have been a really, uh, a much larger uh, gaffe in mm -hmm. terms of comparing Donald Trump divorced dads and putting divorced dads sort of under the bus. She had, you know, in her book, she, as you know, you just said you read it, she, she has uh, said that Donald Trump is, she she made her angry. Her body buzzed with fury mm -hmm. when he did the Access Hollywood mm -hmm. tape. Um, she was so upset that he, she'll never forgive him is what she said about mm -hmm. pushing the birther uh, movement, mm -hmm. uh, putting her family in danger. So certainly she has viable and very sort of articulate ways of, of expressing her um, dislike perhaps of, of Trump. But this was one that um, truly felt oddly disconnected. Yeah. I think that it's probably the last time we're going to hear her make this analogy, <laughs> but, so but her anger at President Trump, given the fact that she was worried about the safety of her children, is understandable. Yeah. Kate Bennett, always good to see you. You too. Thank, Thank you. you.